दिस वीडियो इज क्रिएटेड बाय जागृत क्रिएशन इट इज ऑन डिपार्टमेंटल अकाउंट्स आई विश टू सॉल्व वन सम ऑन डिपार्टमेंटल अकाउंट्स ऑब्जर्व द सम ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस इज अ सम विच आई विश टू सॉल्व हियर बिफोर यू मिसर श्याम उद्योग ए रिटेल स्टोर हैज टू डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट टैक्स एंड डिपार्टमेंट वाई फॉर ईच ऑफ विच स्टॉक अकाउंट एंड मेमोर एंड मार्कअप अकाउंट आर कैप ऑल द गुड सप्लाई टू इट डिपार्टमेंट आर डेबिटेड टू द स्टॉक अकाउंट एट कॉस्ट प्लस मार्कअप विच टू गैदर मार्कअप द सेल्स प्राइस ऑफ द गुड्स विच टू गैदर मार्कअप द सेल्स प्राइस ऑफ द गुड्स एंड इन द अकाउंट द सेल्स प्रोसिड ऑफ द गुड्स आर क्रेडिटेड द अमाउंट ऑफ मार्कअप इज क्रेडिटेड टू द डिपार्टमेंटल मार्कअप अकाउंट इफ द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ एनी गुड्स इज रिड्यूस्ड बिलो द नॉर्मल सेलिंग प्राइस द रिडक्शन मार्कडाउन इज एडजस्टेड टू द स्टॉक अकाउंट एंड डिपार्टमेंटल मार्कअप अकाउंट नाउ सी यू आर रिक्वायर टू प्रिपेयर टू अकाउंट मेमोरेंडा स्टॉक अकाउंट मेमोरेंडा मार्कअप अकाउंट दिस मेमोरेंडा स्टॉक अकाउंट इज अलाइक टू ब्रांच स्टॉक अकाउंट दैट यू स्टडीड हाउ इट गेट्स मेंटेन इन केस ऑफ डिपेंडेंट ब्रांच अंडर स्टॉक एंड डेटर सिस्टम and this memorandum markup account is allied to branch adjustment account that you have studied in stock and data system anyway here the stock account is to be maintained at a sales price what is sales price cost plus markup is equal to sales price so this stock account is to be maintained at the sales value markup value cost plus markup that is the sales value and the stock account is maintained at sales value now to maintain that at sales value generally stock account is opening stock is recorded at cost but here in this here in this stock account the opening stock is not to be recorded at cost but it is to be recorded at the selling price and the profit element in that selling price will appear as opening balance just like stock reserve on the credit side of this markup account now the goods are purchased generally goods purchased are recorded in the stock account at cost but in this stock account goods purchased are not to be recorded at cost but at cost plus profit so cost plus profit will appear on the debit side of this stock account and the profit load added therein will be will appear on the credit side of this markup account if the goods are sold at selling price then the stock account is to be credited now the closing stock the unsold stock in this markup account the unsold stock in this stock account will have a closing balance and the corresponding profit element is an unrealized profit that will be recorded in the debit side of this memoranda memoranda markup account on the debit side the stock reserve will be recorded as closing balance suppose during the year if any markdown takes place what is the entry for markdown the Markup account debit to stock account credit. This is how you have to record the markdown. Or even if there is a markdown item unsold at the end of the accounting period, that is to be considered in a manner that the markup stock account is maintained at the value identified. Now, after explaining these things, these things. The rate of markup for department tax is thirty-three and one third percent on cost, and for Y it is fifty percent on cost. The following figures have been taken from the books of, for the year ended on thirty-first of March two thousand sixteen. Opening stock, department tax, department by purchases, sales, stock of department tax on first of April two thousand fifteen, including a selling price of which had a markdown of thirty-seven thousand eight hundred. These goods were sold during the year at a reduced price. So, in this opening stock, normally stock is valued at thirty-three and one third percent over the cost. But for some of the stock, there was a markdown, and that stock plus normal profit load minus markdown. That is the opening balance of the stock account. Opening balance of the uh, memorandum stock account. So, memorandum stock account will appear 
on the memorandum stack account, opening balance will appear on the debit side at what value? Cost plus normal markup minus this markdown. And on the credit side of this markup account, the profit load over the cost will appear on the credit side as opening balance of stock reserve. And to identify that this first adjustment is given. Certain stock up to like 7,000 purchase for, from department tax was later on transferred to department buy and sold at rupees 3 lakh 10,500. Now what is this 3 lakh 10,500? 2 lakh 7,500 into 150 percent because the sales in buy department is made at a 50 cost plus 50 percent. So this is the cost. So 2 lakh 7,000 into 150 percent. If you work out that will be 3 lakh 10,500. So this is the sales value of this item of cost purchased and purchases are recorded in department tax and sales is recorded in department while but the transfer entry thereof is not being recorded that I shall take, and take care of while solving the sum. During the year 15-16 the pro to promote the goods there were a markdown as follows cost 1,68,000 markdown 10,800 department Y cost 3 lakhs markdown 60,000 all the goods marked down were sold except department Y, the value of 1 lakh 50,000 marked down 30,000. So half of this marked down goods are unsold at the end of the accounting period and that you need to take care of while valuing the closing stock at the end of the accounting period. At the time of stock taking on 31st of 2016, it was discovered that the cloth of department tax of cost to be 11,700 was missing and it was decided that the amount to be written off. You are required to prepare both departments for the year ended on 31st of 2016. Uh, the memorandum stock account and memorandum markup account. So we are required to prepare basically these two accounts for both the departments. Let us start. So th this is a stock account for department tax. This is a markup account for department X. This is a stock account for department Y. This is a markup account for department Y. So, this is how it is to be prepared. Here I should have written 15, 15, 16, 15, 16. It's okay. Now, opening stock of department X. So, like 15,000 is the cost. Markup made there at 33 and one third percent. How much for like 15,000? This is the normal markup. Purchase is 22 lakh 77,000. Markup is 33 and one third percent. So stock purchases are recorded at the sales price. And to find out the sales price, the profit load markup is added. So in stock account, purchases will appear at the sales price. And this markup will be credited to the markup account. Now sales are credited to the stock account. Stock account is prepared at sales value. Sales are recorded at sales value normally. So here, stock account is credited with the sales value. Now same way for Y department, opening stock, 50% markup is there, if cost is 150 is the markup, so you are required to add, so stock will have appear at the sales value and the stock reserve will appear in this account, memorandum markup account, this is a stock reserve, purchases, 50% markup is there. 100 is to 50, how much for 28 like 2000? So this is the load added to the cost. So here it will appear sales price and this profit element will appear on the credit side of markup account. This is you have already studied in stock and data system in branch account. This is just like branch stock account and this is just like adjustment account. And if you have seen my videos on branch account for stock and data system, all these concepts are explained in detail in those videos. Now sales will be credited to the stock account. Now I start with this adjustment. Stock of department tax on 1st of April 2015. So this opening stock. 
इंक्लूडेड गुड सेल्स प्राइस ऑफ वीट देर वॉज अ मार्कडाउन ऑफ थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सो वन लैख फाइव थाउजेंड इज अ नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट एडेड बट देर वॉज अ मार्कडाउन मीन्स डिक्लाइन इन द प्रॉफिट लोड हाउ मच वॉज अ डिक्लाइन थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सो दिस थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड is required to be deducted so 105000 is a normal profit load that is added but there is a decline in that 37800 that was done during last year and the stock was valued in light of that so this profit that i write on the credit side of this markup account here also i will deduct 37800 so this is the stock reserve against this stock valued in stock account not at cost but cost plus markup but not usual markup usual markup minus markdown at that value this stock is valued and this stock is already sold and it is included in this sales value now next certain stock was valued at 2 lakh 7000 purchased for department x so it was already included in this purchases this was sold at 3 lakh 10500 so this sales includes this sales value but the transfer goods were transferred to department x and sold by department y so you are required to write the transfer entry goods will be transferred from department x to department y so when the goods are transferred or stock of department x declines other than sales other than sales there also you are required to write the markup entry exactly in a reverse fashion that you do when the stock increases so here so 2 lakh 7000 is a purchases which is a part of 22 lakh 77000 now these goods are not belonging to department x they belong to department y so this stock Of two lakh seven thousand is to be taken away, is to taken back from department X stock. But here, when the goods were purchased, there was a markup of thirty three and one third percent. So here also you are required to consider the markup, and markup is thirty three and one third percent. So Y department is the receiver, debit the receiver, credit the giver. So here it is credited, here it is debited. But here the markup is thirty three and one third percent. Here the markup is fifty percent. Notice it. So. Hundred is to thirty three and one third. How much for two lakh seven thousand? So sixty nine thousand is the markup that was added. Now it is reversed. So sixty nine thousand will be debited over here. So this is how stock of two lakh seven thousand profit load there in. So two lakh seventy six thousand that is stock declines. Stock decline is credited to stock account and the profit load there on also declines because when the goods were sent. the load profit load load was added as if the profit is realized now this is profit is not going to be realized in department x so here mark down so it is to be debited over here now these goods are given to the y department if the goods are purchased for department y there is 50% markup these are also the goods given to y department so there is a markup of 50% So hundred is to fifty. How much for two lakh seven thousand? One lakh three thousand is the markup. Three lakh ten thousand five hundred. Look at three lakh ten thousand five hundred. Same value at which the goods are sold and it is included in the sales value. And this one lakh three thousand five hundred will appear in the markup account on the credit side. This is an important adjustment. Now during the year fifteen sixteen to promote the goods in department X. Ten thousand eight hundred was the markdown. Department X markdown. Markdown entry is this. Memorandum markup account debit to stock account credit. Similarly, markdown in department Y. So, markup account debit to stock account credit. This is how markdown entries are recorded. Now, out of this markdown stock of three lakh, one lakh fifty thousand is unsold. This is a very important adjustment. Now this. Thirty thousand is unsold. So here there is a markdown of sixty thousand for unsold stock for a while. Just mostly, I reverse the markdown. So markdown was sixty thousand. 
I want to reverse it because the stock is unsold. The markdown was made to make the stock saleable, but the stock could not be sold. So just for a while, for explanation purpose, I go for a markup of 30,000 and that is, and this markup of 30,000, so this 60,000 half of bid is being reversed. I deliberately write this red color. So 60,000 was the markdown. Out of the 30,000 markdown could not be, markdown could not influence the sale. So I just went for markup to explain for a while. Now, if you go for this markup, 30,000, reversal of markdown, then you will get the stock, 1570,500, like which has a normal markup. Now this stock, 1517,500, like is at a normal markup of 15 per, 50%. So normal markup of 50%, so this value is equal to 150. Because the stock account is prepared at the sales price. So closing balance that we found is also at sales price. And there is a 50% profit. So what I am required to do, if 150 is the sales value of the stock, then 50 is the profit element. How much for 15,70,500? Look at it, I work it out. So 15,70,500 into 50 upon 150, file at 23,500 is the profit element in this stock. This is stock reserve. This is the stock reserve at the normal, normal load, normal 50% markup. Now this 30,000 in this 30,000 was just markup recorded to explain you. So if you transfer this 30,000 in those, on this side, so 1570,500 like minus 30,000, that is the actual value of stock. Look at it. And this 30,000 is transferred to this side. So file at 23,500 minus 30,000, you will get the stock at usual markup minus markdown. So this is the stock reserve. So this is how these two numbers can be found out. This is one way to explain you. Now I want to explain these two numbers once again in a different way. Look at it. Now, this is a markdown of 60,000 is recorded. Now find out the stock. So total of debit side minus total of credit side. Here the stock is there. Now this stock is 1540,500. Is not at normal sales price. Now what is normal sales price? Cost plus 50% is the normal sales price. Why this is not the normal sales price? Because there was a markdown. And this markdown stock item is unsold and that exists that is the part of this stock so this item is not at the normal sales price so let me prepare a note to find out the profit element therein so if cost 3 lakhs markup markdown was 60,000 how much for 1 lakh 60,000 30,000 so this stock 15 lakh 40,500 which is not at usual markup of 50% level because there is an element of markdown stock existed therein and for that markdown was 30,000. So add back 30,000 to it. So now this is the stock that you will get at the regular markup. Regular markup is 50%. So regular load in the stock is 50 upon 150, 15 like 17,500 into 50 divided by 150. So file at 23,000. From that you are required to deduct this 30,000 markdown. So this is how the stock is to be recorded. So these two numbers I have tried to explain you in two different ways just for your better understanding. Now this is how this adjustment is considered. Now this memorandum markup account is just like adjustment account will disclose the profit earned on sales. So total of credit side minus total of debit side, this is the profit that is transferred to general profit and loss account. Now last point, loss of stock in department tax, 11,700. Stock goes out of the stock levels. Stock is lost other than sales. That is given to you at cost, 11,700. Find the usual markup thereon. 100 is to 33 and one third, how much for 33 and one? So this is the 
मार्कअप वैल्यू सेल्स वैल्यू सो दिस इज अ लॉस ऑफ स्टॉक एट सेल्स वैल्यू द प्रॉफिट एलिमेंट थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड विल हैव एन ऑपोजिट इफेक्ट सो मार्कअप अकाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड विथ थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड दिस इज अ लॉस ऑफ स्टॉक गेट्स रिकॉर्डेड सो एनी गुड्स गो आउट ऑफ द स्टॉक अदर देन सेल्स यू शुड कंसिडर द मार्कअप अमाउंट लोड अमाउंट दिस लोड अमाउंट इज टू बी कंसिडर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग द नंबर इन द आउटर कॉलम एट सेल्स वैल्यू एंड द लोड इज टू बी गिवन ऑपोजिट इफेक्ट इन द एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट और मार्कअप अकाउंट सो now you can find out the stock this is a stock at usual markup this is the profit so here total of credit minus total of debit this is a profit this profit is transfer to general profit and loss account this is how this memorandum stock account and markup account for department tax memorandum stock account and markup account for department y are being prepared i have tried to explain you this some i feel that you have followed all these things thanks to all.